Welcome to the Build a Site with WordPress course. What we're going to be doing is building a website step by step. And step one to doing this is to go to godaddy.com. From here you want to type in the domain name that you're looking to get. In this case, it's build a site with wordpresscourse.com and you search. And in this case, luckily it's available. If it weren't, what you would do is try a variation. And what you want to do now is add. From here you continue to check out. Just keep clicking continue. What you do from here is check the length of time that you do want to keep this domain name and I highly suggest it's not one year, that you get at least two years. And you have a choice to round up for charity. I have so many domain names that I'm not going to bother this time, of course. And you click on checkout. Now, if you have a coupon code, there would be a place coming up that would allow you to add it. From here, you can pay with PayPal or pay with a credit card. I'm going to choose pay with PayPal. And I'm going to enter my password and log in and I'll be right back. And I agree and continue. You have successfully created a billing agreement. Continue to GoDaddy domains. From here, place your order. Now what you would want to do would be log into your account. After you're logged in, you click on My Account, Domains, and you find the account that you just made, and you click on Launch. Scroll down and you find Set Name Servers. Right here, this is the GoDaddy name servers, so if you were hosting with GoDaddy, you would leave this, but I highly suggest finding a good web hosting company and set name servers. You click on I have specific name servers for my domains and you type in the name server of your web hosting company which of course you can get from your web hosting company. Ours is ns1.sakuraproject.co and ns2.sakuraproject.co Now we are not by any means a web hosting company but if you would like to host on the same server as us, let me know and I will set this up for you. And you click OK. Now this is saying these changes usually take two hours. However, it may take up to 48 hours for these changes to take effect. These time frames are estimates and not guaranteed. And click OK. Our next step from here is going to be adding WordPress to our web hosting account. I'll see you in that video.